Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more multiplayer EU4 with Northern Line and Mathis. Let's do Say hi, it. guys. Hello. Hi. Ready. So how are things going for you guys? Um, have Good. you discovered this? Have you discovered this mountainous water yet? I, I have not. Is it no. the northeast coast of our starting continent? Yeah, it's just the east coast, straight east. Okay. I like I to me the province ends like right where Micmacs or the the continent ends right where Micmacs like uh, curved name is. Micmac. Oh, you, you don't even see Kentucky? No, I don't think oh, so. Oh, wow. There's like three more provinces for you to find over there then. But you've, you've colonized quite a bit too. You're you into... Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. thought Sorry, we desynced. We <laughs> I was very scared there momentarily. Sometimes I unpause, sometimes I don't. We have won the Siege of Wichita. Congratulations, Yay! guys. Hey, we have won the Siege of Waco. I want full annexation. So I am just going to separate piece them for like a lot of money here. What happened? A peace offer from Chickasaw. If we do not no, respond. don't don't take it. Don't take it. All right, I'm just gonna ignore it. Oh my God, dude! Chickasaw is freaking loaded, man. Are they? Do they have? I took 308 ducats off them. That is glorious. Wow, you did take a ton of ducats off them. Jesus, uh, money right, man, this... You have you have six hundred dollars. Yes. Northern Line? Uh, what, I, have to, I have to re-siege this shit now. Yeah, that's. I'll, I'll leave my troops there until you All take right. your troops back in. It should happen quickly. They should have, like, no garrison. Yeah, I have 600 ducats now. I get 15 aggressive expansion for taking these guys. Can you, like, do you have zero war score with them right now? With Chickasaw, I mean? Wait, what just happened? It's all right. Uh... Do I have them? Okay, okay. I've got I've got Kado now. I'm sorry. Yeah, no worries. I'm just so you have zero percent war score with. Yeah, uh, I have zero Chikasa, percent. Mm -hmm. This is like the worst uh, situation for that country. They just like yeah. got economically decimated, and then we're like, by the way, like our friends are coming to take your land now. <laughs> Thanks for giving us your money. Yeah, exactly. Time to take you over. Yeah, I was Miami so tempted. Has... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, this yeah, is my, Miami has 500 gold. I'm gonna go take it all. How does that happen? Uh, they don't spend their money on anything, I don't think. I guess just nothing so. at all. And, and then I'm going to spend harsh. I'm going to spend my military power and just give Wichita harsh treatment to make sure <laughs> they don't fucking rise up. I was so tempted, Mathis, to just take uh, the province, the Chickasaw province. Very. But I was like, I don't know what this will do to our relationship moving forward. So <laughs> I'd be very mad. <laughs> hey, uh, I gained a traitor. What does a traitor do? I don't even know, but I gained one. I have one. I have a missionary as well, whatever those do. Uh, all right, how do I core province again? Let's see. Uh, you, As Arumba said, you probably want to go to like, uh, you want to release it as a vassal and then improve its relations diplomatically until you hit 190. Okay, mm -hmm. I will, how do I do the, how the fuck do I do that? <laughs> I don't, you might want to wait, I guess. I'm just, with Wichita, I just want to take care yeah. of that. That's a question for Arumbo. What's great about okay. having overseas okay. vassals is that you can ha you can keep your fleets there, so we actually have like bases of operation to yeah, expand. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm I'm paying attention. Uh, how do I release somebody as a vassal? Or I was saying, how do I core a province? But Ryan said I should probably just release it as a vassal instead and wait. Okay, press F1 and then two. Done. Bottom done. of the, bottom of the screen, it should say uh, either your country or create vassals. Uh, it says create vassal, but I can't click on it. Um. <clears throat> then that means you have no provinces that are cored by somebody other than you. Like you're you're Micmac, right? Mm-hmm. And you've got that land over there. Yep. The problem is you can't create the Maya because the Maya exist, right? Kado. Oh. Kado should be creatable. Why can't you create Kado? Are you at war? I'm at war with the Chickasaw right now. Okay, I don't think you can do it when you're at war. All right, I'll check it again after the war's over then. Yeah, you, you know, it says right on the... If you hover over it, it says you can't do it while you're at war. Oh, didn't even check. <laughs> All right. Mathis, after you finish your your uh, diplomatic and war with the Chickasaw, we should seriously cut into the Maya a little bit because I'm going to be able to send over 10 uh, regiments. Okay. And you already have... Seven Eight? over here. Seven, okay. Um, so we could theoretically do some real damage, I think. Yeah. And I could send over yeah. ten twice, I think. What's my... 
Yeah, my, I, oh my god. Thank you, Chickasaw, for basically funding the rest of my invasions forever. That is so nice. <laughs> basically we're just taking from each other taking yeah. from all the other natives so that we have yeah. pretty yeah. much <laughs> oh i can't core wichita because they're super far away I yeah guess. yeah exactly oh, that's weird mm, yep that's why you need to release them gotcha that's weird okay and then when you release them and then annex them they will give you a core awesome so only uh three more years until i can start diplomatically annexing illinuic which i earned like five years ago in uh <laughs> Well, they, give you, they still give you some base taxes, right? Yeah, 50% of their income. Gotcha. Mm. So they're still good to have, but you can only have so many relationships before you start spending all of your Diplo points. Yeah, I'm already at minus one now. I should just cancel my diplomatic relations with you guys. Totally. Seems, <laughs> seems totally reasonable. <laughs> I can almost get level three military tech. I don't know if I want to do it or not. Yeah, why not? I could also get level t level three diplotech and increase colonial range. That is what I'm looking for next, actually. Yeah, might as well. I mean, you can't keep the points, so. Yeah. I'm still pretty far away, though. Level three military. Hey, level three military tech's not that bad. The extra land morale would be nice. Is that zero point five? Is in like fifty percent, or is it zero point five? Is in, is it like zero point five out of ten or something? Zero, like if you go um, to the to the military tab, okay, it'll tell you what your land morale and your naval morale are. So okay. it'll add point point five to the base, and then that gets multiplied by any whatever whatever modifiers you have. Hey man, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's very significant. Um, could make make or break a war, really. Mm -hmm. But the thing about morale is that it doesn't really make you you fight better. It just lets you fight longer. Mm -hmm. So if you have a better leader, you can sometimes win even with low morale. Ooh, found some cotton. If it hadn't been for cotton, I'd Joe. <laughs> so it's nothing, nothing to do with anything. I just thought I'd I, say that. I didn't expect that reference out of you. Right, me either. Okay, Mattis, do you want to go to war with uh, the Maya? Let me, let me get these provinces and fucking oh, release yeah. them as uh, vassals first. No, no worries. Uh, I can wait. <laughs> you really want to go to war with the Maya? I. I think we can make it happen, man. Well, I mean, I know we can make it happen, but uh, I think we can do very well. That's my expectation. Full annexation, please. Send demand. I hate that you can't, like, just get a CB if you want to get a CB, except through missions. Because, like, my mission yeah. to improve my prestige is going to take, like, 20 years to actually work. All right, mm -hmm. time to release these fucks. Wow. Yeah, that's the problem... The problem with being uh, a native is that you can't fabricate claims and you can't get claims at all. Yeah, I don't like that very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, first, Kado. Kado will be released with the following provinces. Wichita, play as a release vassal. No thanks. So I'm releasing them. I'm creating them, and they're going to be my vassal, correct? That's how it works. Good. Yeah. Send, mm -hmm. Wichita. Yes. So he is now my vassal. Correct? Oh, dude, that's so good because now, uh, since you have uh, Wichita as a vassal, I'm pretty sure I can just land my troops in Wichita and my ships won't have uh, attrition anymore. And I gotta create one more vassal. I gotta make Waco a vassal as well. Oh, wait. I, mean, I can only cre oh, there have it's create vassal, uh, Waco, send. Boom. Yeah. All right, it's too many, too many diplomatic relations. Each yeah, diplomatic relation over your limit will cost you one each month. Currently mm -hmm. costs one each month. It's probably no, not so that big of a deal. I'm still but... gaining six, so I don't really care. Yeah, plus we don't really care about monarchy points because we're going to reform. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's like... Now, I have to keep relations high with these people? Uh, Yeah, you want to be at like plus 190 or above. Which right, is actually so should, not that I should, bad. I said... Should I okay. send my diplomats over? Maybe. You have like 10 years to make it happen, too. So, there's not necessarily a rush. Yeah, I get a call for peace. My my vassals are... Or not my vassals, my people. They don't want me to be a warmonger, but I'm going to be. Damn it. It's, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Can't stop me. Alright. Um, 
All right, so I'm at 53 with these guys, and I'm gaining some, and I'm at 69. Hey, with these hey. guys. Hey. Yes. <laughs> All right, cool. So this Waco is awesome because their resource is gold. And Wichita's is grain, which is selling at a really high price. So no, 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 no. You go to Kado. Oh, wait, did, just, oh, finally. Okay. <laughs> just do what I want. Because I, I forgot, like, if they're your vassals, I still have to independently request military access from them, which is bullshit. But That's funny. Uh, they're not going to give me fleet basing rights, so... Oh no, they won't let you? No. Now, do I automatically get fleet basing rights with my own vassals? I feel like I should. That makes sense to me. I'll, I'll say that much. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's true, though. <laughs> it seems and like that would be correct. These stupid lands still don't... I still have no idea what their fucking wow. resources are, by the way. These stupid lands. Mads, could you do me an enormous favor and... Uh, with your five... Yeah, go crush region, them. Yeah, yeah that'd be... Thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah, you know, that's what I'm here for. I'd do the same for you. I know. I don't know what to spend money on other than buildings. I have 330 gold. I don't know what to spend money on at all. Save it, I guess. More ships? Yeah, I guess. More ships. I should probably just hire a bunch more troops. Might as well. That's what I've been doing as well. I feel like I could. Mm, 28 out of 34. <laughs> I just took out, conquered some stuff in the Shawnee. You're like... No, nope, we're not going to give you military access or be your ally anymore because you're a warmongering <laughs> bastard. <laughs> yeah, pretty if much. You go to if you go to war with the Shawnee, I'll come in and, you know, take, like, Labrador and you can take the other two provinces. I can? Like, that's, not, that's so generous of you. <laughs> I'm just trying to put myself in there, you know? Make sure, don't, don't forget about your old pal uh, Northern Lion over here. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to forget. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, what to spend money on now? That's the question. Mm. Buy some provinces. Buy them? Yeah, well, I wish you could. From you? you well, yeah, about... that's... Uh, sure, you can You can have... Um... No. I'm sorry. <laughs> Changed your mind already, huh? Yeah. Yo, Mathis. Oh, so they have to be my... They have to be my... I'm sorry, I'm reading. I'm reading the rules here. It's 190 okay. opinion, and they have to have been my vassal for 10 years. Right. Gotcha. So I've got to wait till 1511. Oh, look at that. Uh, calendar just rolled over. So I have to wait till 1520 for mine. I have to wait for like two more months. Oh, and you can't be at war. Is that correct? Yeah, Probably. you have to be at peace to do that. All right, That's Matt, it. this March 11th, 1511, we go to war with the Maya. I, wow, you're very determined. Maybe March 12th, because it's going to take me like a couple in-game days to actually start this uh, annexation process. Noted. <laughs> uh, Cat, what is wrong with you? My chief, okay. the ungrateful natives of Cumberland have risen, and now they're dead. Okay. Thank you for that. I thought that was like a Scottish province, or an English province. Guess not. Yeah, I guess not, mm -hmm. unless you've started colonizing the old world. And the I already sure colonized have. parts of it. Cat, what is your... You just relax, okay? Which cat is it? It's the new cat. Yes, you're very cute. You don't need attention all the time. <laughs> Tomo? Yeah. Like, pay attention to me! <laughs> I'm furry! <laughs> I'm making war right now. Oh shit, it's May! Tomo! Oh, I didn't pay attention. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> what, okay. you're supposed to annex now? Yeah, there we go. Start the annexation process. Alright, Mathis. Are you right, ready? Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. Okay, let's do this. You sh you should go for Apache, and I'll go for. Well, okay, actually, I should go for Le Apache, and you should go for Lepon. Le All right. Lipen. And the reason for that, I'll call you into my war. Yeah. Um. And sure. Um. Declare war. Uh, the reason for that is so I'll, I'll have that coastal province where I could land troops, and then you have this one that will give you like continuous borders. All right, I'll take it. Pretty sneaky, right? I, mean, I think so. All right. That's good. A call to arms. There you go. I'm gonna send go. the I'm gonna send the call to Aruba as well, so he has to accept or lose diplomacy. <laughs> you suck. Do it. <laughs> or not lose go diplomacy, ahead. lose prestige. You lose prestige, yeah. Oh, you suck. Now I'm uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's all like low maintenance. No, I don't want to raise my maintenance. I'm trying to make money Sorry, here. Sorry, Aruba. No, you're not. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm actually apologies. making some pretty damn good money right now. Yeah, I'm very glad to hear that. 
Yeah, it's good, good, good. I have almost a thousand bucks too. You have almost a thousand. Oh, did you just uh, get like a ton of money from them? From the yeah, Huron? from Miami of all places, which is where you're headed to for Paradox. Yeah, Island. I mean, I'll already have been there for a while by the time this video uh, comes out. So here's my predictions. This is a time capsule. Ready. Hearts of Iron 4. Yeah. New uh, space grand strategy That'd be on awesome. the Klauswitz engine. I think it's going to be like tile based, uh, but not province based. Because the most recent hint was that there's no provinces. Um, I forget what else I was even talking about. But th those are the two things, I think. Hearts of Iron 4 and uh, a Space 4X game. Space 4X Paradox would be amazing. I agree. I'm all for it. All for it. Bring it on, man. I'd be so excited for that. I don't it's gonna, think... It's going to be... <laughs> you know, uh, just I'm about to get wrecked right now. Ah, you. run! Come, come to my territory. Come to my territory. Oh, they caught me. Oh, man. This, you can do it. Oh, they're so weak compared to you because of the river crossing. Oh, fuck. It's still going to be so, kind of close, but... Come on, baby. Give me oh, the... no. Oh, no. Mathis, why didn't you just... Said, come to come to Apache, Yeah, I, I can't control them. Uh, they'll be there in a second. Ah, fuck. Uh, now I'm going to go crush them because their uh, morale is so low. I need to freaking start ferrying over troops is what I need to start doing. Do you only so have 0.8 here? Okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead. You know how Paradox has, like, all these games that cover different spans of time? Yeah. The space game is just going to be, like, 2100 to 2500. So, yeah. <laughs> so the future, future game. Oh, my God. Man, this, this is why we need a Roomba in our wars. Oh, you wanted war, man. I'm yeah, actually, but... I actually am setting troops down right now. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm getting ready to. My hero. There you go. I just lost like another. The the bunch. problem is I have there's like this huge terra in, incognita next to Lake Huron and Lake Superior. I have to go around the long way, <laughs> which is bullshit. <laughs> mm, I need some more troops. I know. I'm just running around like don't. Um. Talk. Let's see. Is one of you own own Kato? Can I like get some fleet placing? It's my it's my vassal, so you have to talk to them individually. I think they won't. Give they it won't to give. You. They won't give me fleet basing rights because they're idiots. They think they they think of themselves as colonial powers, so they're saying no. <laughs> Kato loves me right now. Oh, uh, these four troops are gonna be fucking killed. Yep, I'm running with my men. Yeah, go, Blen, go boys, get out. Okay, we should we should coordinate on our next strike because this was a bad <laughs> this is a major loss for me. It's not over yet, man. Yeah, okay, but don't let's all throw our if we're gonna throw our troops at them, we should throw them at them at the same time. It's my feeling on the matter. At least. I mean, that's that's true. I have a lot of troops being produced right now. They'll they'll be ready. Coming over, shortly. I'm docking in Chickasaw with uh, eight more men. Okay, I'm actually out of manpower, so I'm gonna be able to send a lot of troops, but not as many as I would like. Wait, what's the difference between manpower and a force limit? Manpower Come is help. help. I I freaking just said wait a second, you dinglehorn. <laughs> get, get over here. <laughs> All right, Rondy and make... Chickasaw. I'm gonna lose all my men now. I blame man you. Manpower, I specifically and explicitly stated, let's wait for us all to be there. But manpower is like your population, basically, of able men. So as men die, that goes down. But like you draw a resupply from that as well. But it's like a finite number. You've got to wait for your population to increase uh, after a bunch of men die. The end. The end. Okay, so you've got 15 regiments there. I was like going up and down between 15 and 13. I don't get it. Where are you guys? Uh, are you attacking them now? I could. Ch I, I only have 13 regiments now. What happened? Maybe attrition? Maybe. Should I chase them down? They're at full. Wait, they're wait, at wait. full fucking. I'm going to stay just, here. Just relax for a second. I have another nine that are coming over right now. So that'll like give like an extra 35, 40%. So manpower is like eligible troops I could create essentially. Right, exactly. And then when you like lose troops, your manpower or you get reinforced from your manpower and then it goes up by like X oh, per month. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, I get that mechanic now. Okay. So That's I cool. will I'll be there soon, I promise. Before yeah, the end I'm... of the video, which is in twelve seconds. <laughs> You've I'm got sending this. some some I'll send seven more regiments. I only have seven transports, so Okay. It's kinda of tough for me to I've got another nine. Actually, you, you know what? There's no reason to annex them. I'm gonna make more transports. <clears throat> okay. 
Once the Maya whittled, whittled, it, whittled it down, though, they won't be nearly as bad, so... Yeah, yeah, it's like when we fought the Iroquois to begin with. Like, you just gotta knock them out once, and then as long as we have some power remaining, it's no big deal. Oh... Really? You're gonna go siege Kato, you piece you of shit? You should totally just, like, go to town on them now. Yeah, I'm going I'm going after them right now. Oh, this is a perfect cliffhanger okay. to end it on. Yeah, perfect cliffhanger, exactly. <laughs> All right, well, we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, please do check out Northern Line and Mathis's Perspectives, and we will see you same time, same place tomorrow. Later. Bye. Uh